this is Paul again. Just uh, we're out here and it's nice and cold, so we're gonna do this quick. But uh, I wanted to share something with you. If you've seen some of my more recent videos, you've seen my 2012 convertible Grand Sport Corvette. I love that car. It was even the featured in my in my intro video that we did a few months back, and we had a lot of fun with that. Unfortunately, I no longer have that car. That being said, I have this car, my new 2014. Corvette Stingray Z51, fully loaded with the 3LT package. We're going to take it out. We're going to give it some running around here, and we're going to see what it can do. So come along. Let's have some fun. never going to be in a movie. I promise you that. And no drifting movie is going to use a Corvette. That's all I'm saying. It's a power slide. You got this no. And if they use a Corvette in a drifting movie and they power slide, it's not a 2014. There's a button <laughs> for power for parking brakes. Although Transformers did, did it justice to a point. They transformed when they turned it, it, it turned into a Samurai. The Samurai. Yeah, he was in the uh, the last Transformers. I haven't seen the last Transformers. You have not seen the us. Oh, it was bad. Hey, Although I start liking Col uh, Camaros after. Y'all want to see something funny? Go to how it should have ended and watch the Galvatron Mrs. Shia video. The last I miss Shia. Oh, I thought you meant like Mrs. Shia. No, Mrs. Like Mr. and Mrs. He miss, he's like talking to. I'm totally plugging someone else's fucking video right now. You don't ever plug my videos. Why would you plug somebody else's like that? Okay then. See. So, uh, oh, oh, squirrel! So bad. Yeah. I actually looked over there. <laughs> <laughs> Down the road with the, the way they redesigned the back end of this thing, and with the way it looks, it looks like a Ferrari F12. If you're not, if you don't know what a Ferrari F12 is, I'd say look at this picture right here, where his face is, because it might be there by the time we do this video. But did you just call my face a lemon or a penny? No, I said a Ferrari. F12. I mean a Ferrari. Yeah, I called it a Ferrari F12. No, I didn't say you're as good looking as a Ferrari F12. Ah, yeah. You're gonna put a picture over my face, aren't you? So, so I want I want to tell you people, 
What stops, slows down a high-end sports car? A fucking minivan. That's what slows down a high-end sports car. A freaking minivan. You already said fucking. Why would you change it? I don't know. Okay. We might edit that out, you know. Just believe it? Yeah, we'll bleep the freaking yep. and we'll leave fucking. There you go. I believe that's a caravan model. Don't really care. It's white. You know what's dirt. ugly about minivans? Everything. The minivan part. It's not too much. It's not really mini. No. No, they're not It's mini. not really a van. It is a van. Not really. It has a hatchback that's not There's no slow. shag carpet. Okay, I don't think that classifies vans as shag carpet. That's what I... Here we go, guys. Okay, so now we're stuck behind a Chevy. It's a Cobalt. I believe that's a Cobalt, yes. Yeah, we're, do we're doing a uh, car review on every car we get stuck behind today. So technically, like, the vet poops and little Cobalts come out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's just dis disturbing. Hey, which way do we go? Straight. Straight? Yeah. Well, yeah, definitely now because he's turning. We don't want to be behind the Cobalt no more. He did try to get over. He's trying to be nice about this. So, now we're kind of out in the open. You know, if we had a, a really good emergency brake, we could like parasite turn around. And go I got one right here. Let's test it now. Oh, dude, we'd I still bet it, lock I up bet this fucking lock it up. You know what? It, they probably thought of that. They did. I'm not going to test it, but they probably did. What's the worst that could happen? It's probably going to chirp like three times and say no. It's still under warranty. Yeah, but what if it flips? I like how you <laughs> thought it through, though. <laughs> I, I like there was that moment there yeah. where you could actually the viewers could see that thought process they saw they saw the wheels yeah. turning in yeah. my eyes is that what it was well they saw the smoke they saw the smoke yeah that's coming out my ears what the hell is that's that a cool truck that is a badass <laughs> truck damn that was a mean looking truck I, it, that literally looked like a small car when we first saw it well the, the only lights he had on were those two in the middle that was a big ass dodge I've sworn like eight times in this video. Yeah, you're gonna have to bleep that. That's gonna be like, I bleep. You're gonna lose your family. You right? bleep. We bleep. That was nice. I, smooth acceleration. I'm telling you. We're gonna have to get this on. We're gonna have to get this on public streets and see what it can do. Yep. You know, all these private roads. They're cool, but you know, old man winter, you know, come out with a shotgun and tell us to get off this property. Did you see that one? I like how you 
okay by the other police department. What the hell, man? How many cops are in this town? We're back on public streets, by the way. Well, the test drive got a little carried away. We spent a lot of time joking around. We had a good time. But now I want to show you what the car can really do. I'm not going to take it all the way, but we took it out to a road where we could actually open it up a little bit. And now you're going to see what that looked like. Hey guys, we just got back, uh, put the car away, had a lot of fun out there with Christian. We were horsing around. We did a lot more horsing around than we did uh, showing you any stats on that car. Uh, but uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, now that we're back, we're going to get back to work on some of these other cars, pretty much what the channel's about. And uh, look forward to sharing those with you. So uh, enjoy it. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, uh, subscribe and get regular updates from us. Uh, we're looking forward to it. And your feedback is really important. It really helps us put better videos together. And we'll talk to you guys next time.